<coughs> All right, hello everyone, and welcome now to Game Three in this Protoss versus Zerg matchup. We've been seeing a lot of. <laughs> All right. Good luck, have fun, and thanks to, yeah. Anyways, over here we have Quantic STC pl playing as the Red Terran player. Meanwhile, over here on the top left, we do have um, Stefano playing as the Blue Zerg. Let me just go ahead and swap this out. There we have it. All right, so Stefano is on the top left-hand side as the Blue Zerg. Bottom right-hand side will be the STC. And this is going to be on Ohana. Ohana, perhaps one of the more difficult maps for um, if you're a if you're a race not named Zerg, due to the due to the crazy paths that can happen on a map like this. There are two major walkways uh, down the left and down the right side. Then there are these high ground walkways as well, allowing Zerglings and other very fast moving ground units to reach their target and their destination rather quickly. Now, we saw STC open up with a double Rax pressure, which was very, very easily held off by Stefano. So I don't believe that State or STC will be going for that this time around. And I do suspect that we perhaps may see um, a traditional one Rax expand or some variation of that coming in from the STC. And with this, Stefano may end up trying to perhaps flip things around flip the book and per and perhaps come back with some sort of two base or two base all in type of play that would be my best guesstimate but then again how much do i really know about stefano now it looks as stc is not going for a refinery so no refinery here at all which means that we should be going into a fast command center here in just a moment and now that SCV is on patrol, and now it looks like it is going to be ready to go. There is that command center, and now a Marine making its way down to that low ground. A Marine trying to shoo away that Overlord. The Overlord, I believe, did not spot this one command center, though. So beautiful positioning by this Marine, making sure that Stefano is playing a little bit more in the dark, as the Marine is getting off some easy shots there. We are now going into that double refinery as well. It looks as though STC is going to be adding up that supply depot, making sure not to supply block himself. We are now sitting at 18 over 19 as STC going into double refinery. And he should be going into either additional barracks or perhaps trying to go for a quick factory. One, S one Marine shooting down one particular supply depot. It looks like that will get shot down here in just a second. Meanwhile, the Overlord is going to park itself off. And it may actually gain sight of this command center here. As soon as it moves over just a little bit. The Overlord is nowhere near in danger of getting shot down at this point. And here we have it. Stefano is moving in. It will gain sight as the Marines are now making the trek over. And that Overlord will be backing away again. Here we have the transition to a factory. We are going into a reactor Hellions. And right now we don't see Stefano establishing up a new base. No new base down here. Um, normally, I know Zerg players do generally like to establish up that third base. But that's generally against a Protoss player and not against a Terran player. Terran players with those Hellions are able to get off much more harass and are able to do a bit more damage than, say, a Protoss in the early stages of the game. Now, Marines are now making their way around, doing a little bit of trekking, hoping to perhaps catch an Overlord in in an awkward, awkward position or awkward location. Here you can see the Marines are just going in two by two, and they will be returning home. Overlords are in really, really strange portions of the map, making sure that they are not going to get shot down as roaches are now coming in from Stefano. So Stefano, let's take a look at the unit production tab. 22 roaches, 22 drones with 8 roaches. This is turning into a 2 base um, two base push of roaches. And this is going to be very, very bad as the Hellions now battling up against the roaches. And the roach number is just going to increase significantly. There is absolutely no bunker here. And this is going to be a huge, huge play coming in from Stefano. Stefano is going to go completely unchallenged as the supply depot is not able to be raised up in time. The Hellions are doing a good job trying to line up to maximize their damage, but this is still not looking good for STC. SCVs are now coming off the mineral line, realizing 
how much um, how bad this situation already is no tech lab or well, a siege tank now trying to be added perhaps a banshee could be added as well as the SCVs are currently sitting idle hellions now trying to make their way back through but stc pretty much not suspecting a two base roach push catching his his opponent completely off guard stefano with a beautiful beautiful play here as the harvester count is now 21 20 19 scvs versus 41 drones and i do believe that will pretty much be it now down to 27 supply scvs doing a last ditch effort trying to fight back hellions um, trying to fight back here you can see all of those roaches in a very very odd split there a new marine has just popped out roach may be able to even get off some damage onto this last supply depot there is one marine trying to shoot down this roach that is not um, not going to work out that well either as we now see a new siege tank has joined the front lines oh a really 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 bad opening and a bad start for stc stc perhaps hoping to get back into this but Right now, this is just like a lion taking a giant chunk out of a zebra as the zebra is trying to run away. And all the lion now needs to do is just sit back and, 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 and almost let STC bleed a little bit more and let that wound take hold before he comes back in stronger. The harvester advantage is now 53 drones to 13. That was a huge change. And now it's going to be up to STC to deal a lot of damage with only three Hellions. There are Queens in position here. This hatchery is not in any danger whatsoever as STC now looking to perhaps mine away with as many SCBs as possible. But this is still not looking good. At this stage, let's take a look at the income. Um, pretty much four times the amount of gas and about 50% more minerals is what we're seeing. STC is going to have to pretty much play very, very efficiently with the army that he's got and hope to deal a lot of damage that way. And he might actually be able to make something happen here, doing a drop for some pretty much nowhere. And here comes the Hellions. Three Hellions now looking to drive in. And how much damage could be dealt? It looks like one drone was taken down there, another drone taken down there. And it looks like some drones are falling. But is it going to be enough without that blue flame tech? Only five workers were lost overall as this Hellion now looking to come back around the far side. Is anything going to happen as new Hellions now coming in the torch from the far side here? So this one Hellion already up to five kills. Is it going to be able to get even further? And it looks like one more drone kill. Yes, two more drone kills. 11 workers. We are now at 23 to 52. A small, small victory for STC, but... Will he be able to make something happen still? There are still more Hellions sitting at the Zelnaga Tower here. Queens are in position. I hear Queens are really good against these Hellions. Now, since they ever since they got that range upgrade. Alright, Blue Flame Tech now has been finished. These Hellions now looking to do another elevator drop up onto the high ground. I believe the Roaches pretty much know what is up already. The Hellions are now ready to go. Roach is now coming in and now getting off one round of attacks. Two rounds of attack. Three rounds of attack to finish off all three Hellions before any damage is done. 49 supply compared to 100. A for effort coming in from STC. I just can't imagine STC um, coming back into this game. Things are just not looking good at all. That two, two base roach pressure completely catching um, STC off guard. Especially with no bunker on the ramp. And that's where things just went from bad to worse. Zergling is now running around. We are now seeing a transition into Mutilus. Stefano running off of six geysers is going to have a critical mass of Mutilus extremely quickly. Somehow State got the memo. Perhaps seeing the Spire off over here. Did he see it? And yes, he did spot it there. So perhaps he is suspecting um, and now setting up a whole bunch of missile turrets. But those missile turrets are pretty much gonna, just going to be for defense. He's not going to be able to be aggressive with them as we already see Stefano expanding all across the map. Missile turret off over here. Only one missile turret. One missile turret effective as four, as effective as four marines essentially. So you know that those that missile turret can get shot down. And, and and get destroyed rather quickly there as one mutilist 
does get picked off. All right, a little bit of round robin there. Once more, Mutilus finding a little bit of openings as the reactor now going to get taken down. Not going to be able to be repaired at all. No more double training of Hellions any longer as the Mutilus are simply there for harassment. Now the missile turrets are right in, or the Mutilus are right in between. And it looks like, yes, that one missile turret will get taken down. There it goes. No additional missile turrets back over here at all. And I believe the Mutalists are going to be able to just run Rabid or fly Rabid inside the space. Out comes a Thor. Is it going to be enough? The Thor trying to fight back. Is it going to get Magic Box? Yes, it is. SCV is trying to repair. And it does repair. But not enough to keep it alive as more and more Thors are being added. And there is the GG. STC losing to Stefano in three games. Two to one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.